James Metcalf, you're the new Continental Super Welterweight Champion. Just put into words how you're feeling. Can't put it into words. I'm not a man of many words anyway, so you're not going to get much out of me, but I'm made up. You sparred many rounds with Kerman. Did he do anything unex unexpected tonight? Um, not really, no. He's usually similar. In every other fight, he's, you know, he's does what he does well, he's strong, he's got a great job and he lets them go when he's inside and we just have, we just come up with a plan that sort of nullified it. And you already knew how tough he was, just how tough was he tonight? Very tough, yeah. He's, um, he's a very tough person, he's a big puncher. You know, every jab he hit me with I could feel and every other shot as well, so yeah, he's very tough. We'll bring in Eddie Hearn. Eddie, how do you sum up that fight? It was a great performance, really disciplined. You know, I think I was trying to score it like I was in Bilbao and like I was a, probably a, a Kerman Leharaja fan and I still had JJ winning 6-4, so it was probably wider than that. But sometimes you don't get the decisions out here and that was the worry. But I think it would have been a, you know, a big injustice if he didn't get the win tonight and he deserves it. You know, he's always stepped up for the fights. For, jumped in with Ted Cheeseman in a brilliant fight, you know, fight of the year candidate, boxed Kieran Conway in a fight that was very, very close as well. You know, we gave him a run out, you know, to get himself ready for this fight and he came in in tremendous shape. You could see that as soon as I saw him in the change room, I knew he was ready and, you know, it was it was a, a very intelligent performance from him and the team because they, they knew Leharaja, they studied him, obviously he's done many rounds with him and they put the game plan in place to, to be victorious. So what do you see as JJ's next step? I think big fight, you know, he deserves his, his big night and his, his big money. I think I'd like to think we've looked after him along the way, but he wants obviously the big one and, and as much money as possible out of the game. Every fighter wants that and people that have continuously stepped up and taken the challenges and been these fan favourite fighters, if you like, deserve to get that opportunity when they win. The great thing about these cards is although we're obviously trying to create and, and find emerging talent from Spain and Italy, we're also giving British fighters the opportunity. It's up to them and they can change their career and turn their career around in these kind of nights. And there's nothing like an away day. Win. Especially for the Scousers. I mean, I'm, I'm worried about that lot in Bilbao tonight. I've got to be honest with you. But what a great away day win for Liverpool. And, you know, he, he'll, he'll be in the top 15 now with the WBA and waiting for the call. And, and we'll look for all the fights. It's just a shame that, you know, Beefy Smith's his pal. Because that would be a nice fight for Liverpool. But we won't be doing that one. He's over there. Look. Final one for you then, JJ. We know you'll never say no to one of the big fights. But what do you see next? You know, they, they've been talking about, before that fight, they kept talking about Kerman um, fighting for the WBA title. Um, where he's, uh, he's left the European behind and whatever they come up with, I'll take. You know, I'll fight anyone, anywhere. And whatever Eddie fancies, I'll, I'm, I'll go with him. JJ, thank you very much. Congratulations. Eddie, let's just sum up the night. How happy are you with how this shows in Spain are going? Well, really happy because the atmosphere is great. You know, you come out here and... You know, credit to JJ, but credit to Leharaja as well and his fans. You know, tremendous atmosphere, great noise, and, and the undercard as well. Everyone seems to go at it, even in the before the bell action as well. And like I said, a good win for Rhiannon Dixon as well. James Moorcroft got his opportunity tonight, didn't come up with a win, but had a great experience, and he'll grow from that as well. And, you know, JJ's been there before. He's suffered those defeats, and he's bounced back. And they're, they're the kind of fights that you've got to be in to grow as a fighter. And, you know, probably his, some of his defeats led him to that victory tonight and that kind of disciplined performance. So, great night in Spain. We'll be back. Herman Leharaj will be back. But tonight belongs to JJ Metcalf. And finally, on to Cardiff, Mexico, San Antonio. Just how excited are you for the well, busy schedule? Oh, two first tomorrow night. Boazzi against Richards, um, of course. And then we've, we're off to uh, Cardiff for Joe Caldina's big chance to win a world title. Then we're in Mexico for the unified world championship, Kai Gucci against Bermudez. World championship triple header June 25th in San Antonio. And then a lot of big stuff to be announced in July as well. And Beefy Smith again over there looking for his big fight. So we'll, we'll Charlo. lots, yeah, Charlo, whoever. Beefy don't say no either. He's like Metcalf. So <laughs> lots to come. And uh, first things first, 02 tomorrow night. Eddie, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to be with